Hey guys, thanks for joining us for this vlog. We're really excited to show you what we do to prepare to execute and to break down open houses. So come on, join us, here we go. First thing I do is I grab a sign and I gotta figure out the sign location. Look at the wind behind me. You know, you gotta make really strategic attempts to position your signs in a place that are highly visible and don't get you killed. And it's just a matter of trying to figure out. So here's where I think I'm gonna put mine. What do you think? Does that look all right? I think that looks all right. All right, walking back to the car. Hopefully that location works out okay. Like I said, it's on top of the snowbank, pretty visible, um, very high traffic area. Here we go, location number two. This is what we're dealing with, all right? We got these giant snowbanks. So we gotta figure out strategically where to put our signs that people can actually see them. Preferably not on the top of the snowbank, but if, you know what, push comes to shove and that's where we gotta be, that might be where we gotta be. Nice little, oh, yeah, see. Yeah, see, like, I don't know if this is the best spot, guys. I wish the snow was harder. We are as far over as we can. We're gonna roll the dice with this location a little bit. We're kind of on the shoulder-ish, but it wasn't working in that snowbank, so here we, Onward to location number three. We gotta travel really, really far for location number three, ready? Okay, we're there. It's so a location number three, it's by the listing. Um, you wanna indicate that there is an open house at the house. It's good to, uh, I think some people depend on their signs in the yard to, to indicate you know where to go, but I think if you just take the guesswork out of it, you know, you're just better off. Okay, time to go inside and start that open house. Here we go. All right, so one of the first things I do when I'm touring around the house, I make sure all the lights are on. I make sure that everything is clean, neat, um, you know, put away, all of those types of things. Uh, most sellers do a great job of do, doing this. Like these guys, I mean, I literally have to do nothing. I'm walking in and everything's ready to rock and roll. But I'm just double checking, making sure everything looks great. Um, great first impression for those buyers. And um, yeah, here we go. That buyers are gonna love the first impression they have. Speaking of first impressions, that's a pretty cool first impression, don't you think? Um, you know, something I'm really proud of, when I'm at an open house and it's not busy or um, you know, I'm in between rushes, I always have my laptop out, my cell phone out. I'm talking to agents, trying to get people to the property while I'm there because I have a commitment that I work for my client when I'm in their space. Because more times than not, you're gonna drive more traffic to your listing. You're just creating energy for your listing. And that's just where you should be. So a quick wrap up of the vlog. I kind of abruptly go to First of all, summertime, but second of all, um, what happened in the vlog that we're shooting is the open house got really, really busy and I had no time to shoot an outro. So essentially what I do uh, is do that same process as what you just saw in reverse. So I go turn off all the lights and I go pick up all the signs and that's pretty much running an open house. and. You know, it's just working hard for the clients, exposing the property as much as you can, and um, you know, getting that baby sold. So, hope everybody has a good day, and I appreciate you watching the vlog, and stay tuned for the next episode. Go Team Kirk.